One click, all the gadgets are switched on. Another click, everything is switched off. Simply saying, just one command, and all your work is done with AI. Well guys, today in this video, we are going to talk about artificial intelligence and its impact on our lives. The way it changed our present and how it will make our future incredible. We will try to cover everything about robots and AI in this video. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you like what you see. Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. The time has come when difficult tasks are to be done in seconds with artificial intelligence. 24 hours of work without getting tired and being frustrated. I am sure it is not possible for humans. Never gonna happen. But still, all this development and progress happened in human life by humans only. You know what, everything is going easy but still, people make these dumb excuses. I don't have time, sorry. Talking about artificial intelligence, it is nothing but the capability of a computer or a robot to do a specific task for which it is designed in less time. The time is less than what we people take. Simply we can say it is making our work easy and efficient. Let me give you an example. You need to reserve a seat on the express train. You don't need to go to the specific railway station. You don't even need to have cash in your hand. Just take your smartphone and open a specific app and book tickets. There are many ways to pay money with your phone these days. I don't need to mention it. We're all familiar with that. Just imagine the ease and comfort it has brought to society. That's the power of artificial intelligence. We made it so easy and efficient for our people. Well, before moving further, you must want to know who invented it first. Who is the father of artificial intelligence? So the great John McCarthy is known to be the father of artificial intelligence. But in the beginning, he wanted to name it computational intelligence instead of AI. McCarthy is not just the father of AI. He is also the inventor of Lisp, which is a Lisp processing language in 1958. It is the second oldest programming language after Fortran. It is still used even today and is the programming language of choice for artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, McCarty died suddenly at his home in Stanford in the early morning of Monday, October 24, at the age of 84. Well, it's just a peek at history. Now, let's jump in the future to know what AI can do for us. In the coming five years, it is expected that computers will solve all human problems, even better than us. Experts in robotic fields will create systems and robots that will be more efficient than human beings. They are very sure that machines will become our best friends and caretaker in the future. It will interact with users better than humans. It is interesting as well as disappointing to some extent. According to Ray Kurzweil, the level of intelligence of computers and humans will be equal by 24 to 5. For the sake of your knowledge, let me tell you more about Kurzweil. He is a famous American computer scientist and futurist. The Wall Street Journal called him the restless genius, and Forbes magazine called him the ultimate thinking machine. He was selected as one of the top entrepreneurs by INC magazine which described him as the rightful heir to Thomas Edison. Even PBS selected him as one of the 16 revolutionaries who made America. The achievements are remarkable in the world of computers. He received many awards for his intelligence in the world of computer science. Even he wrote some best-selling books like Singularity is Near in 2005 and How to Create a Mind in 2012. Currently, he is co-founder and chancellor of Singularity University and a director of engineering at Google heading up a team developing machine intelligence and natural language understanding. Some scientists call this evolution singularity. With the help of big data, computer programs, or artificial intelligence, we will be capable of analyzing massive amounts of information, identifying trends. These trends in information will be helpful to solve the biggest problems of the world faced by the human race currently. These problems might be hunger diseases. There can be overpopulation and climate changes due to global warming. Chances are more that we will be very social with machines and robots over human beings. I don't find it interesting, though. We will share our problems with robots instead of our people. We will be happy with machines instead of our family and friends. How depressing it sounds, guys. But remember one thing. Take a note of it. Robots are intelligent but not filled with emotions. Emotions that bring love and affection. They can never have the human touch and the human feelings. I hope you are getting the point I am trying to make. Now, do me a favor. Share this video with your family and friends to make them educated for the future. Alright, let's move further without wasting our precious time. 
One thing that is important here is that AI can provide good support to elderly people who are not capable of taking care of themselves. Driving will not remain untouchable to AI. And in the future, we'll use self-driving cars to travel from one place to another easily. They will be highly based on machine learning and pattern recognition. The car manufacturers are already focusing on it right now, and most probably, they will be achieving their targets by 2030. But that was all about what the present looks like and now, let's move to the next segment and see what the future looks like. Let's talk about what will happen in 2080, 2090, and 2100. We can easily make good predictions based on the data. We have a massive amount of data already in our hands to predict the future of humans. Famous futurist Kurzweil had already made predictions for the future. You will be amazed to know that out of 147 predictions, he made 127 came out true. How can anyone be so specific about the future? Interesting fact, isn't it? Today, we can estimate our finances, turnover, etc. with the help of AI. The main reason behind this is algorithms. All social media like Google and Facebook use algorithms. They make you watch in feeds what you actually want to see. Your social life is based on algorithms. It will be more advanced in the future with respect to human behavior. It's hilarious to tell, but you will get to know who will date and get divorced. We will be able to know what will happen today, tomorrow, and in the next 10 years. Now in 2300, 2310, 2320, we will have powers like superhumans. Crazy, but it is true. We will be able to develop ourselves as cyborgs enhanced by technology. We will be able to do more tasks as our body parts will be enhanced. It will cure deadly injuries and can replace our limbs and muscles with better ones. Our sensory abilities will be much better than now. The features will be enabled in our bodies with the help of robotics, neuroscience, and 3D printing programming. Scientists predicted that we will move from handsets to headsets. We will be able to feel the computer-generated images. People will be able to hear and see even when their eyes and ears will fail. It will surely help to elder people in the future. Now in 2400, 2500, 2600, we will be living in symbiosis with AI. We will expand our brains with technology. Everyone will have the same level of intelligence. The chips and technology will be much more powerful than our human brain alone. It will be a great combination of both. Even the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk is making it happen with Neuralink. It will be an implanted chip in the human brain to enhance the powers. This year, Neuralink raised $27 million, funding to eliminate the need for physical devices. Other experts like Kurzweil are taking the same path. Instead of machines, humans will become powerful using the machines implanted in the body. He predicts that we should be able to connect our brain to the clouds as early as 2030. Now in 2800, 2900, 3000, we will be on the path to immortality. Humans will be able to implant all consciousness into the cloud over virtual reality. We could leave our dreams and become immortal. Trust me, it will be like heaven. But guys, know one thing. We are not going to see all this. Unfortunately, we will die after some decades. The idea is that all our data, memories, etc. could be copied into the digital realm. In that way, life would be prolonged to infinity. There is a science fiction TV show in which it is shown that dying people can be uploaded to the cloud and leave forever. Scientifically, it can happen, but the episode doesn't show the whole situation clearly. But there are many questions left. Will your uploaded version of the brain actually be a self-conscious soul? Or will it be just an illusion due to virtual reality? Are you doomed for all eternity? Well, you don't need to fear anything. Everything will be okay. The way we work changed and it will change the same way. There may be different perspectives. Instead, AI will take our job. Yeah, but taking our jobs from our hands would be dreadful, isn't it? I would leave it for you guys to ponder on this topic. And that's all for today from my side. Hope you enjoyed the whole future breakdown with AI. Let me know what you think about the future of humans. So, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.